good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. Glad you're back with me. Russ Lambert with another thought or two I want to share. And I'm just going to jump right on into it. Does anybody remember? I guess I'm showing my age, my age a little bit. Does anybody remember the old four corners that stall offense? The four corners game on the on the basketball court? It was an offensive strategy that it was designed back in the 1950s or 60s, somewhere around there. And what it was was simply a means of trying to run out the clock where that the other team couldn't do any more damage or, or be able to score against you. You'd spread all your players out into the on the offensive end of the court where four of them in each of the four corners, and one of them generally would have the ball and just try to run time off the clock keeping the ball away from the other team. It was a strategy that Dean Smith, he just about perfected it when he was the head coach at the University of North Carolina. And I'm talking about back in about the 70s when, when that happened. What it was was, practically speaking, teams that knew that they were overmatched, teams that knew we've got no business playing with these other guys, but they happened to get just a little bit of a lead early in the game, they would go into this stall offense and just try to run time off the clock. And just basically they're just trying to tread water until the clock runs dry and hope they're still ahead when that happens. That was before the time of the shot clock in the three-point line. Now, I think it's pretty obvious to me that's exactly what Joe Biden is doing right now. I mean, here we are, we're, what, eight days till Election Day? And he's home hiding under his bed. They call it a lid. I call it crawling back under his rock. But to be fair, it's probably probably more like a turtle that just withdraws up into his shell for protection. But just like the strategy in basketball, Biden knows that going head-to-head -head against Donald Trump He's in, a he's in a mismatch. He's got no business being there. But he believes he has the upper hand. If you believe the polls, apparently he probably does. And he's implementing stall tactics. But will it work? How much damage will that laptop from hell inflict on the Godfather's run for the White House? Because of the timing... I'm betting this laptop's not going to charge, not going to cause as much harm as what it could have, or really what it should have. Not because there's nothing there. I've got a feeling that thing is just hotter than a firecracker. But because it's so late in the game, Joe just might be able to run out the clock. But as more and more people are learning more and more about what's on this thing. Well, I read an article yesterday, Sunday. I read an article yesterday where Google is saying that one of the leading search queries on their search engine is, can I change my vote? I mean, there's a whole lot of people out there with buyer's remorse already, and they don't even know the outcome of the election yet. That tells me a lot right there. Normally, I encourage anybody to vote and vote early. In this case, I'm not going to do that. Now, it, it's no secret anybody that's heard me talk ever knows that I'm hoping and praying Donald Trump wins re-election. In fact, I've already voted for him. But to anyone who has not yet voted, let me make a suggestion. Let this play out over the next few days. There's only a few more days of early voting and then the general election. Let this play out over the next few days. Don't be so anxious to run down and vote. I'm going to tell you right now, if I had voted early, which I did, but if I had voted for Joe Biden and then found out all this stuff that's coming out right now, I'd be sick to my stomach. Let's let the pieces fall where they may. When the time comes, when Election Day gets here, if you still think Biden is the best choice for this country, go down there and cast your vote with pride. 
but don't be one of those with buyer's remorse. Don't get caught up in the can I change my vote crowd. Just my two cents. Till next time. God bless you. Be good to one another.